watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich, at the Jacklich Law Group. Good afternoon. As the band wraps up, Maryland over Bucknell, 91-67. Maryland is 9-0 versus Bucknell. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Mason. Bruce is away from the camera. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Mason, what'd you make your Maryland Terrapins tonight? They took care of business. The scoring continued to build, coming from more and more players as you get down the bench. And look, I'm ready for Ohio State to come in here next week. I know there's one more before that. We'll probably be the worst team the Terrapins play the entire season. But I'm ready to see some real basketball here. So it's Al Gordon State at noon on Sunday, and then Ohio State on the court. Look, down the Bison had some good moments. We wrote Pichiak. It's uh, 20 points, four boards, two assists. He looks like he really could play. But for the Terps, Tafara Gapare actually had a big game, and he punctuates it with a, a stunning posterizing dunk at the end. 19 points, six boards of the block. Somewhere in there you said, hey, this guy might actually be able to play. Yeah, I think you're seeing that more and more as the team kind of gels and you get deeper into your lineups and your combos and you start to figure yeah. out things um, with guys like Valentine Palmer and guys like Lepare that, that maybe didn't fit the original lineup that Willard had in mind. But if they can contribute, because these are guys like Lepare came from a power four, power five still in basketball team and contributed there, he can contribute here. You just have to find that role. Uh, the, I've got a star in my score sheet next to Jay Young because he's starting to pick it up. At first, it didn't look like he could maybe shoot at this level, but lately against Villanova and tonight, he made a few. Uh, Jordan Tulls, he came in from Memphis, so he's played at this level. What do you see from him? He wears so, number eight for the I, I think your best outcome for him at this point is like if you can get a Patrick Emelian level guard look, guard play type from Jay Young. He's scrappy, he makes some big shots, and remember what Pat was able to do is, by the end of the season, he was like consistently in that lineup. He was making big plays, he was really, really dominant on the defensive end of the floor. That's that's the kind of guy that you're looking for. Well, I have to stop you there, because Patrick Emelian is, is my poster child for this era of a guy who showed up, gave it, if you could give more than 100%, he did, and he really powered that. We haven't had, didn't have that guy last year, and I'm not sure up front we have that guy this year, but I'll take him in the backcourt. Wherever you can get that type of effort and glue guy, you have to be happy with that. But guys like that come from guys like Jay Young, guys like Patrick Emelian. You're in that last year. They're probably not. They're definitely not NBA caliber guys. They're, they'll play basketball, continue to play somewhere. But, like, this is it. You don't produce in this last season. Those dreams are gone. Those uh, desperation play, it's kind of been gone in this COVID sense because of the sixth year and the fifth year guys, but when you find them, they're so important when you have a strong core, which this team does. It has talent. It does. We will be back in College Park in a moment after this word from the new Viner X and, of course, from Rick Jacklich. Happy Thanksgiving to one and all from the Turp Talk. Team Maryland takes it 91-67. We'll be back in a moment. Hi, I'm Rick Jacklich, and I'm here with another big dog, Coach Kevin Willard, coach of our Maryland Terrapins. Coach, we're looking for a giant year from our turf. We're looking forward to a great year here in Maryland. But I hear you're coming off an all-time great year at your law firm with some amazing awards. We've been very blessed, Coach, without a doubt. The awards this year include Best Civil Litigation Firm in the entire state of Maryland, Best Malpractice Law Firm in the entire state, that goes along with our other awards we've won over the years, including best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. But it's not just me, Coach. It's every one of the lawyers in the law firm. That's why we love you, Rick. <laughs> so, Terp fans, if your family's injured in a car crash, you'd be barking mad not to call Rick and the Big Dogs at the Jack Litch Law Group at 855-BIG-DOG-1 and just tell them Coach sent you. Thanks, Coach. And Turp fans, show your support for our coach and our basketball team and all the athletes in Maryland. Buy season tickets to come watch the Terps. And most of all, go, go Terps! Terps. <laughs>
Viner X is the new face of Viner Four Gates. Tech support fuels your business growth. Making your company work is our number one priority. Viner X is here to make your company work. Call us at 877-797-8776 or send us an email, servicedesk at vinerx.com. As we wrap up our pre-Thanksgiving coverage this Wednesday evening, Julian Reese was effective, 14 points. Of course, Maryland, both he and Derek Queen, a level above what you saw from Bucknell. Derek Queen, 15, 8, 2 assists, 3 steals. He is so smooth. It, it automatically makes you dominant against a team that does not have big guys that can move. And you hear a lot about it. In, I feel like in football more than basketball, when you everyone's you know across the line, 6'4", 300 pounds, the difference is the guy that can move, and the guy that can get around the corner and turn the corner. You hear about it so much. In basketball, at this level, not as much. But when you have a player like what Derek Queen is doing right now, you see just a difference in movement and flexibility and just overall, you call it right on the nose. I mean, just smooth play around the rim that allows you to get easy shots. What? It would have been described when they used to have phone booths that he can get open in a phone booth. He makes moves that are stunning within like a two square foot area where he spins away. He's he's another level player. He can pass like Wes Unseld. He can shoot like Sam Perkins. He has arms like Ben Coleman. He can do everything. He certainly is the poster child for Maryland basketball. Overall, you, know, you could have beaten Marquette. You definitely could have. And maybe with this level of integration deeper into the bench, you could have beaten Marquette. It was great to beat Villanova. You were supposed to beat Villanova. Now it starts getting tough. You've got Ohio State, and in another week, you've got Purdue. So, And, and look, I think it's, it's clear. Your difference is how ready will the staff have these guys to play? How ready are they going to be to meet the moment? Yes, Marquette, you know, the missed free throws down. It was just it was like back and forth. We were at ready to meet the moment, you would get a lead, and then in that second half it just kind of fell apart. So clearly, I think the questions about talent are gone in my mind. Now it's about coaching, execution, and, and how ready is every guy down that list. The guys that showed up today, can they be ready when that competition level gets there? All right. Thank you for watching. This has been the Big Dog Post Game Show once again. Well, we'll have Mason say Happy Thanksgiving. But from Bruce, from Wayne, and from Mason, Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you guys for watching.